for you. Good for him. Anyway, let's go back to the match in, on deck right now. Hakaru Daybreak. Daybreak being the Falco Cloud player, number 10 on PR currently. Been on, number been on the 10, up. that shiny new PR spot for yeah, him. Yeah, he, he cracked top 15, but now he's finally made the top 10. He was definitely a player that looked like he could be top 10 for a long time, but in some cases, it just showed like Falco was holding him back. So he picked up Cloud, and ever since then, he's been seeing a lot more success. So, yeah, he's using it. He's using the Falco still, but more sparingly. He's using, it seems like, more and more Cloud. Yeah, he's, uh, uh, he's, he's going with what he's comfortable with, and obviously Falco has a, has some matchups that Falco are just Falco has this rough. like awful, awful disadvantage state and a not so great neutral state. Right. His advantage is pretty neat though. Yeah, his punish game is really good, but just, it's it's not en it's just not enough. Yeah, it's just not enough. Coupled with like you know that lackluster recovery, like if you're gonna die early from recovery, you might as well play Cloud, who's the best of that. Right. So. Ooh, that was very clean. Very nice combo there by Hakaru. Putting himself back into not putting himself at not too big of a deficit, so he has some room to has some room to work with, but Daybreak with the stage control right now. And just giving himself that limit just to, you know, establish more pressure. I'm liking these back ears we're seeing from Daybreak there. Putting out a little bit of pressure. Gonna just let the limit break go there. That uh, not gonna eat any punish, but that is such a little ending. Like it's so hard. It's, there's such a small window to punish. Oh, and good nerve. Uh, I don't think Hacker was expecting that. Angle I don't think. From yeah, there. I think he was expecting to be swept out, and there wasn't a whole lot he could do right there. That's a tough, oh. tough spot there. <laughs> Interesting. And he wanted to. He wanted to snap the ledge, but he was just too far out yeah, for I it. I he was too far out. Yeah, but so it gives Hacker a chance to you know establish the lead. And some pressure, but Daybreak not letting that SD get to him. And He's reading these air dodges. Very good stuff from Daybreak, making it very hard for him to land. Caught it. Yeah, that juggle was a solid 60% damage. And it just gives so much room for Daybreak to work with. Especially with limit, limit on deck right now. I really like Daybreak's use of Nair. You don't see it out of all the clouds in quite this way, but it looks looks very nice, and he's getting a lot of space out of it. Cause that's such a huge move. I feel like it's a, maybe a little underrated. Yeah, great. Under, uh, yeah, definitely underused. You don't see a lot of clouds use it as much, but it definitely is a great. It is definitely one of his really good tools. You know, great. I think it probably stems partially from playing Falco, who has a fairly good Nair. Could potentially be, but. Gonna see an edge guard situation. Nope, we're not. But oh, that's de interesting choice. Yeah, that's definitely what I think the weakness of Daybreak's cloud is at the moment. He is kind of angsty with the limit. You know, I, I just I think yeah, he was just went for a read there and it just wasn't there. But uh, doesn't doesn't really matter for him because he takes he turned that pretty that solidly. Was, that was a clean looking game for him regardless. Definitely. Oh and. Quick update in brackets. Zenodo takes it over Crazy Colors 2-0. Uh, 6WX over Karinal 2-0. And that is it for now. So, all right, right back to the match. So what do you think we're going to see from Hakaru? Uh, I just switched to Diddy. I was going to say that as soon as you were done talking, but he beat me to it. Yep. Because I watched uh, one of his pools matches, and he's playing Diddy. His Diddy's very good as well. Yep. Diddy, obviously, a good, char good character to have, you know. I also saw his Lucina in doubles. That would have been an interesting choice as well, but that might just be for doubles. That could be chess for doubles. That's that is something you see a lot of people do. You see him kind of just opt for Lucina chess for doubles. But so the the Diddy Kong pick is going to be interesting. He probably wants to try and get Daybreak into situations where he has to recover. So and he and Diddy pretty pretty good at doing that against Cloud, especially with all the ledge traps he has. Oh my goodness! Yes. Uh, down smash is very effective. Down tilt can be very effective. I'm, I'm blanking. There's one more option that you see uh, like zero go for a whole ton that's super effective against Cloud. Now, uh, unfortunately, uh, Hakuru missed spacing that fair, not getting the auto cancel, so caught in a lot of lag and Daybreak able to punish and get back into get back into center stage. But just gonna chuck the banana into him and smack him with a forward smash. Good option. Great rising Nair off the ledge there. Uh, realizing where Hakaru was at to create pressure. Yes. And great aggressive response. 
Oh, and good job by Hacker there, Wayne. I like just, that stall so much, but he is going to eat that forward smash. Yep, got a got a little too close to Daybreak there. Probably wanted to get a grab, obviously, to start another Vortex, but just missed base sets, so Daybreak able to catch him with that clean forward smash. Oh, great shield right there. Going to get a nice punish. Ooh, and just missing out on that landing, pun on that punish there. And these traps are just so good from Daybreak right now. He's doing a good job. I really like that he's holding limit at this point in time, uh, not wasting it over something silly. Yeah, he wants. He definitely wants oh. to try and conserve it as long as he can. But but he is just gonna throw it out right there. He's probably trying to say get off me and go away. Yeah, that was that was definitely a good get off me option, because you know it gave it gave. It oh, and that up tilt is gonna kill. I'm a little surprised right there. Maybe a little bit of an unexpected option, the the Diddy slap. Yep. Sometimes it can be unexpected. The knockback is really good at late percent, so it can definitely be great for ledge traps and stuff like that if you can catch rolls and stuff. But sometimes it can be used with a good anti-air. So that's, I believe that's what Hacker did use it for, so good good on him. Anyway, oh, Hacker is narrowly avoiding death there. Yes, very, very close. And this is this is getting struggle times. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh okay. Oh. It's it's all right. It's all right. He has limit. I thought he was gonna get sent a little further down. Same. That's. Yeah. I thought that was gonna be a lot more uh, knockback coming from that. He has, I guess at fairly low percents. All right. Hacker is in a good spot right now, but the down dropping, air dropping shield on that dare, the initial hit of dare at that, and daybreak taking it 2-0 over Hakaru. That's very good. Pretty, pretty convincing win there. All right, so.